Okay, first off, I'd like to welcome everybody to Rick Macy Tennis Center, South County Regional Park. We're here in Boca Raton, Florida. So glad that all you guys could be here. This is going to be the best day of your life, okay? Especially on a tennis court, okay? But before, but before we like to do a few strokes, I'm going to show you some things with your tennis game, and maybe some of you will like want to play and get inspired. Let me just tell you, let me just tell you a few things. Uh, it's about forget the game of tennis, but about the game of life. Okay, as all you guys know, uh, back way before you became got on this earth. Okay, like 30 years ago, 25 years ago, uh, I shot tennis in Serena. They moved from Compton, California, to Florida. And when they came here, they were 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Uh, I took Venus. I took Venus to make her debut in 1994, where she ended up like beating number 57 in the world, and she almost beat number one in the world. It was crazy, okay? And uh, so, but I had them when they were like your guys' age. How old are you? 11. 11. 12. 12. 10. 10. Same age as me and This is the same age that I've had them. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And people ask me all the time, forget the tennis card. Forget the tennis card. That goes into the list of what I'm going to tell you that people don't understand. Because I was with them every single day. And one thing that I always remembered was every single day that they left the tennis court. Whether it was a good day, whether it was a bad day, whether they won or lost, every single night they said, thank you, Rick, very much. Okay? It had nothing to do with tennis. That always stuck with me. Because a lot of times, because I still, I'm on this tennis court seven days a week, and I work with kids all ages on all level. That's one thing I always remember about both of them. They always said, thank you very much. Another thing that always stuck in my head, Every time they came to the tennis court, every time, they brought their books. They brought their school books. You're going, why would they do that? Tennis is supposed to be fun, and we're supposed to run around and hit balls and stuff. Because it rains a lot in Florida, as you guys know. So what happens is, every time it rained, they would take their books, and they would go into my office, and they would study. Because education, okay, and treating people the right way was more important to their mother and father, okay? And I need you guys to understand that. Forget this stuff I'm gonna show you of how to do your forehand better today or your serve or whatever, okay? What I need you to understand, how you treat other people is very important. Just treat other people how you would like to be treated. Always remember that. I've done this a long time. I've been fortunate, okay, to coach many Grand Slam champions. I've had hundreds and hundreds of kids that have been national titles, but when it's all said and done, the tennis is just a little piece of these people's lives that I work with all the time. And you guys have a long life to live. And what you can get if you decide to play tennis by working hard, and that's the next thing. Venus and Serena, a lot of kids I have here, they work so hard every single day. And they had a goal and they had a passion. And they wanted to see how good they could become. But they would work so hard. You have no idea. Because a lot of times you don't want to do something, you got to make yourself do it. That's the key. When you don't want to do something, and you force yourself to do it. That's a big, big key. And the next thing, the attitude. There's a lot of things, what you hear, what you read, okay? People influence you, what you hear on social media. It's very, very important. What you think of yourself is the most important thing. Okay, that, always remember that. You know, always remember that. And next thing in your head, each one of you guys can do whatever you want to do. Whatever you want to do. I know you're probably a little young to have goals and stuff like that. Forget tennis. Whatever you put your mind to, there's no limitation. You can do whatever you want. I grew up in a small town of like 10,000 people, and I picked up a tennis racket when I was 12 years old. And I said, I kind of like this, okay? Six years later, I was like the number one player in the Ohio Valley, and no one taught me how to play. I never had a tennis lesson in my life. And 
here we are like many years later and I teach more lessons than anybody in the United States of America. Think about that. Because of one thing, you know, I wanted to help others more than wanted to help myself. And that's a big, big thing that you guys could always remember, okay? Always remember that. But the work ethic that you guys want to, whatever your passion is, whatever you want to do, you got to have passion. You believe I get up every day at 3.30 and I open up those gates of this park every day, seven days a week. I don't have to. This is my business. My name's on the door, but I do it. Why? Because I want to. Because I love it. I love it. I love to be on the tennis court. Whatever you do, whatever you want to do, I just want you guys to understand. And it might change, but you want to put your heart and soul into it and give 100%. Every single thing, every single day, just give 100%. Because you're going to have so many things influence you. You're going to have so many things want to put you on the wrong track. But you, have, it has to come from you. It has to come from you. It has to come from you. People can help you. People like me can mentor you, okay? Because everything I say, you should remember the rest of your life, okay? You should remember everything that I'm saying. You should have a journal and you should write this stuff down. You know, I've been fortunate to be around, you know, greatness, not just in tennis, but many, many sports. And they just think different. Whether you want to be uh, a great hairdresser, whatever you want to be. But the most important thing with all you guys is your education. And I know some of you probably don't even like to study. And you might have to, you might have to work harder than others. All right? But if you want to do it, it's a choice. If you want to do it, you can do it. You can do it. All you guys can do it. You can be whatever you want to do. You can be whatever you want to be. Even though we're using tennis right now as a vehicle, you can do whatever you want to do. There's a sign right behind you, right behind my daughter Ginger there. It says, if you can dream it, you can do it. And that's what you have to do. But it starts with an attitude, a positive attitude. All these people that have been around in tennis or business or whatever, they're so positive. They're so positive, okay? I always tell people all the time, I want you to be great when things are going bad. Everybody can be great when things are going good. That's, that's, that's a skill, all right? And you gotta try to do it. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, every day, be consistent. Say from the outside, you know, Rick Macy just doesn't change grip, he changed lives, okay? And that's what I do, okay? If people listen, okay? I get them to work harder, get them to study better. Get you to clean your room. Expect it from yourself. I gotta. I want to do a little Q and A. That means a question and answer. I have a question. If you're lazy, what do you get better at? Yeah, well, you be, yeah, you get better at being lazy. That's if you're lazy, you get better at being lazy. And if you get mad all the time, what better at? Getting mad. It's that simple. It's a habit. Okay. And if you like to work hard, what do you get better at? Working hard. And if you have a bad attitude, what do you get better at? And if you're always making excuses, what do you get better at? That's the first thing. Starting today, we're going to have an agreement with the medal, right? We're going to have an agreement. From here on in, from here on in, no more excuses. There's no more excuses. I don't care. And we could all have a lot of excuses. There's no more excuses. Anything. A winner finds a way. How many of you guys want to be a winner? I gave you the middle. You already got the middle. You can't let me down. Do you want to be a winner or a loser? Mm -hmm. Okay. Winner finds a way. Losers make excuses. And you're going to be challenged every day. You're going to be challenged every day. There's so much crap you're going to deal with. Okay. But I want you to remember this night. Deal. Deal! Deal! What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give you guys a forehand lesson, okay? Anybody know what a forehand is? Watch your backswing, you might hit the camera. Oh. All right, <laughs> well, here's what I want you to do. I want everybody sideways, face in the side fence, okay? I want you to put your face out. Put your racket up like this. We're not even gonna worry about the grip. So, I want the racket up. I want the racket up. Now your hand should be at the bottom of the handle. Right there. Good job, buddy. Good job. 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 Good job
job. I like that. Good job. I like it. I like it. I like it. Okay, now. Ready for this? How many of you guys know what a candy cane is? Raise your hand. How many of you know what a banana is? How about a Ferris wheel? How about an arc? How about a rainbow? Okay? How about the letter C? So here's what I want you to do. Don't kill the balloon, okay? But here's what I want you to do. You have the racket up, right? I want you to make an arc, a rainbow, a banana, a candy cane, a Ferris wheel, or the letter C. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna go like this. You're gonna make an arc, okay? A rainbow, a banana. You can do the practice swing. Put your racket up. So all I want you to do, you're gonna make an arc, a rainbow, a banana, a candy cane, a Ferris wheel. But when you do it, you're gonna go like this. You're gonna bend your knees when you swing. So you're gonna bend and then do the candy cane. Okay, so here's what I want you to do. Remember this forever. You ready? If you bend, I'll be your friend. All right? If you bend, I'll be your friend. So what you're gonna do is this. Ready? Bend. And then you're gonna follow through over that shoulder. You ready? Bend. And then follow through over this shoulder. You ready? You're gonna bend and then follow through over this shoulder. Don't hit the coat. Okay. Okay. Bend and then follow through over the shoulder. So we're gonna do the okay. Bend and follow through over the shoulder. Okay. Now I'm gonna check you out. I'm gonna give grades. Here we go. Show me, show me your forehand. B plus. A. A. B plus. A. You guys, I, I'm like shocked. Remember, if you bend, I'll be your friend. All right, let's do five strokes together. Ready? You're gonna imitate the coach. So put the racket up. You ready? Showtime. Banana. Here we go again. Candy cane. Ferris wheel. Arc. Anybody? Have, what do you think left? C. C. Letter C. What do you think left? Somewhere over the rainbow. rainbow. You guys are smart. Rainbow. So that's the forehand ground stroke. See, and the reason why you want to bend your knees is because you have a rhythm. Now, before we get back to the forehand ground stroke, let me go over what we call the ready position. If you're ready, you don't have to get ready. So I want both feet straight ahead like this. I want the racket away from your body. Okay? Now my racket's away from my body. I want your left hand on the throat. Good. Good. I like it. Put that hand down lower. That one right there. Rack it up. Good. Good. Right there. Now, make sure you don't hit the person next to you. So now what you're going to do is this. With the forehand ground stroke, you're going to go one. This is what we call a unit turn. You're just going to turn your shoulders and you're going to go right back to where I had you a minute ago. Remember how I did that? Watch my right foot. Your right foot goes back. The racket is up. Okay, everybody stay right here. Let me come in, do my thing. Stay right like that. Right like that. Not a girl. You guys are on fire. You're on fire. Now, from there, you let go of the racket with your left hand. But watch the coach, watch the coach. You let go of the racket with your left hand and point it towards the sideline. That way, across your body. Now, what do you think we do now? Any idea? Uh, well, not like that. That looks like the last hand? samurai. You were like, hi -ya. Don't do that. <laughs> what is that? No, what? Forehand? It's a forehand, but what, what do we want to think of? A rainbow. A rainbow. Let's go. Rainbow. What's next? Arc. Arc. Wait a minute. Time out. What did I say about bending? If you bend, I'll be your friend. Or it's going to be the end. If you bend, I'll be your friend. If not, it's the end. 
Come on. Let her see. And then catch the racket. Anything left? You remember another Banana. one? Banana. 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 She's hungry still. Banana. Go. Okay. Ready position. Okay. Go ahead and do the unit turn. Turn. Keep your left hand on the racket. So she remembered. That's okay. That's okay. No, this is, it's all good. All right. Show time. Go ahead. Do your stroke on the other one. Wow. It's like the Rockettes. You guys are like doing everything at the same time. Ready position. Unit turn. Wait, wait I, have you guys had lessons before? Because some of you guys look like you know what's going on. I don't. No, I, I, I do not. I don't know. I think you, maybe you just had a good coach. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Take it from here. Banana. Follow through over the shoulder. Here we go. Candy cane. Rainbow. R. Good. Letter C. Very good. Okay. Does any of you need a drink of water? No. Are you okay? All right. Let's move each one out of here. I like you. Do you know why? The best way to get smarter is to ask questions. Go ahead. So, do I have to take my arm up when I hit? No, no. What you're going to do, you're going to go like this. It's a great question. Okay? Watch, watch, you watch my hand. Once I do this, I bring my hand there and I catch it. Yeah, you're going to catch it. Now, what we're going to do, all right, I want you guys to understand, here's how you move on the tennis court. It's not just like running, like like a little squirrel, like or like a rabbit. You want to go something like this. So you guys are going to imitate. That means you're going to copy how I'm moving. You ready? So put your racket up. Okay. You got to imitate what I'm doing. Just watch my feet. Here we go. Be on your toes. Come on, you guys. I'm doing it better than you. I've been around the block, but you guys do better than me. <laughs> Great. I'm giving great. I know you don't like great. Go. 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 Everybody start out. Do your footwork. I'm checking you out. Just. Okay, you don't have to swing. Just out. Keep going. A. A plus. A, a triple plus. A. Good. Yeah, that's it. Look. This is how you move on the court. It's not just, it's not just running. Yeah, you got to do the shape. You got to, you just got to do the shape, okay? Very, very important. All right, we're gonna do one more stroke and it's gonna be the serve, all right? Like how you serve. It's interesting because guess who has the greatest serve of all time in the history of tennis? You. No, but I might've had a helping hand with somebody. I, no, it's probably in women's tennis, it's Serena, okay? Venus has an amazing serve also, but Serena's gonna go down as a most amazing serve, the best serve ever. Everybody agrees, there's no one even close, okay? And that started long ago with the technique. Now obviously I'm not gonna be able to get into what I got into her, but here's what I want you to do. I want you to put your left foot, because you're all right-handed, I want your left foot pointing at that net post. And I want your right foot pointing that way. So for right now, behind the line, so I want you to go like this, look guys. So your left foot is pointing at the net post, and your right foot is pointing towards the sideline, okay? So, here's what you're gonna do, okay? Here's what you're gonna do. On the serve, it's a whole different thing because you gotta hold the grip correctly, so watch it. Grab your racket and take your right hand, and your right hand and go just like that. Go right down the racket, and you're gonna hold it like you're hammering a nail. This is called a continental grip, okay? This is called a continental grip. So this is how I want you to hold the racket, but here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put our left foot at the net post, and you're gonna put your right foot that way. So for right now, here's what I want you guys to do. Put your racket just like this, like that'd be a ball in your hand. Good, but we're not gonna have a ball right now. Right like that, right like that. Here you go, sweetie. 
your racket like that. Okay, now here's what I want you to do. Put your left foot towards that nap post and your right foot towards there. And our arms are like this. So here's what we're gonna do. Okay, turn a little bit more. Watch it. And try to get that right foot back. Yeah, just like this. Get that one back more right here. There we go. Right. Good. Now, here's what I want, guys, watch. Here's what I want you to do. You're gonna go very simple. Down together and up together. That's all I want you to do, five times. So you're gonna go down together and then up together. Okay? Down together, up together. Now, once we do that, you go down together, up together, touch your back, okay, and then swing. So that's, obviously there would be a ball, but we're not gonna hit the ball. Down together, up together. Touch your back. Now, pretend you're gonna take the side of your racket and throw it into the air. That's all I want you to do, the side of the racket. So let's do it together. Here we go. We got the continental grip. You're gonna go down together, up together, touch your back, throw the edge up into the air. Okay, let me check you out. Come together, up together, touch your back, throw it to the side. Correct, now, good. Watch, now when you throw the side of the racket, watch it, put it on your back. Watch, when you throw the side of the racket, look guys, when you throw the side of the racket, see the racket helps on the side, then you go, I'm gonna hit it on this side, I'm gonna then high fi a giant. So you don't wanna hit it that, because you need to hit it on the string. So side of the racket, and then you hit it flat. So that's what's gonna happen. Okay. So let's show me the serve. Down together, up together, touch the back. Okay, now throw the edge and then flatten it out. This is, watch it. Down together, up together, touch the back, throw it, and then flatten it out. Does that make sense? Okay. Forehand, ready position. Go back to the forehand. Do your unit turn. Rack it up. Now, what are we gonna do? Do it. Put your left arm across. That way, your left arm's that way. Now, go ahead, do whatever you want. Banana, candy cane, Ferris wheel. Let's go, do 10 strokes. Banana, candy cane, Ferris wheel, oval. Remember, bend and... I'll be your friend. I'll be your friend. If you bend, I'll be your friend. There's a rhythm. You got it? All right, 10 seconds. Show me your new footwork that you learned from Coach Rick. I like that. Oh, I like that. You're popping the popcorn, extra butter. You're popping the popcorn, extra butter. Oh, you guys are... I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. I see some potential out here. I like it. I like it. Okay, show me your serve. We're almost done. Go. So, you guys wait. Check out your feet. Make sure you have the continental grip. Okay, down together, up together. Touch your back, throw the edge, and then flatten it out. Okay, so what? You throw the edge, and then you high five the giant. So, look. Down together, up together. Touch the back for right now, we're doing it in progression. You throw the edge of the racket, the edge, and then you high five the giant. Does that make sense? All right. Do a banana. Wow! Who is that? Winner, winner. Do a banana. We got an aggressive group here. I kind of like it. Turn sideways. As soon as I pitch, I head out of town. I'm telling you. Play for the Dolphins. Let's go. Easy? You have to go in. Wow. Hey. That's a nice swing, though. No, no, no. Aggressive. 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 I like it. Ready? Turn sideways. It's so fun. I don't want to leave. I want to make it forever. Yeah, I don't want to leave. I don't want to think. What's the word? Banana? Banana. What else? C. Art. Candy cane. Rainbow. Rainbow. Art. Art. C. Ferrisville. Ready? Do it arc. Arc, arc. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. Here we go. Rainbow. Just do a rainbow. Wow. I'm going to try this one. Wow. You guys are on fire. Fire. Wow. Good job.
Who is this? You're on fire. Instead of a shirt, I'm gonna upgrade you to a hoodie. Oh. Rainbow. Rainbow. Easy, easy, easy. You're on fire. You're on fire. Everybody gets one more. Let's go. Rainbow. It's unbelievable. I'm impressed. So, rainbow. That a girl. Yeah, yeah. Oh. That's good. Go nice and slow. Do the rainbow. Nice and slow. You guys. Water. I want to do one more. Give them tennis ball. One more. Here you go. I want to do another one. All right. Everybody gets one. Wait, you know what? We're going to play elimination. Whoever, well, whoever hits it over stays in. Oh, gosh. Okay, so we'll out. find out. I'll be out the first time. Well, okay, and whoever wins, they're getting a hoodie. Oh, my God. Oh, and we're going to make it easy. Let's move it up here. Please, let me see Come on. Come on. Whoever wins, gets a, we're going to give you a hoodie. There you go. go. A hoodie? Uh-oh. Oh. The, the, the number one seed missed. Okay, everybody uh, yeah. gets a chance. Whoever hits it over is going to probably win. Come on up here. But you got to do the stroke right. If the stroke is wrong, I penalize you. Because remember, I just taught you banana, art, rainbow, ferris wheel, candy cane, letter C. Okay? Ready? Banana. Okay, here we go. Everybody's still alive. Just do it easy. Someone's going to get a hoodie. Oh my God. All right, she's in the lead. She's in the lead. Okay, here we go. Wait, I think it's your turn. Isn't it? All they're tied. All right, no, you two guys are tied. We got a playoff. I think you missed, but I think I'm gonna give you another try. You need to get on the other. You know what? You're all doing amazing. I'm giving everybody another try. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. But you gotta do the stroke right. Remember what I said. If you bend, I'll be your friend. Let's go. Just bend easy, easy. Oh, 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 you ready? Easy, easy. Again, come on. We got it. Go. We have a leader. Oh my God. That's amazing. Amazing. You guys, you're doing much better than I thought. Careful, you don't get in the back. Ready? Nice little arc. That's okay. But see how she's going high. You got to go low to high. Low to high. Amazing. Woo, oh, wait, are, you guys, are you guys ready for this? Yeah. Are you ready for this? There's a five-way tie for first. And all five of you get a hoodie. Oh, yeah. All right. Everybody run up to Adrian. All of you want a hoodie. Go. Bang!